Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is material? The linear gradient node. Let's run through our quick little example. And actually, as you can see here, this is the result of our linear gradient using our default settings. Let me make it a little bigger and zoom out. Okay. So a linear gradient is basically going to go from black or zero to one or white alongside the U, which is our X, or the V, which is our Y, depending on how we set it up. Now if we type in linear gradient, we can find it under gradient or miscellaneous. It's going to be the same node. Input wise, it basically has UV coordinates. By default, it's going to be the default UV space of our object. And I'm just using a sample cube here. And then your output is either the U gradient or the X gradient or the V gradient, which is your Y gradient. Right here, we can see an example of me using the U gradient, which is the X from left to right. If we were to plug it into the V, we're going to see it go from top to the bottom. So we go left to right or top to bottom. Now in terms of the texture coordinates, these are just normal texture coordinates. If we plug in a coordinate node, which I'm multiplying by 1, we're going to get the same result. Let me plug this back into U. I like left to right easier. Now basically multiplying by a higher number is going to give you more white. So if we went to 5, we're going to get less black and more white. Now since I have this set up as emissive, we're going to see a glow effect. If we go in the opposite direction or smaller, zero for example, we're not going to get any gradient. It's going to be solid black. And any value between zero and one is going to give us basically more white and less black all the way to default. So point one is going to give us a very light gradient because most of our values are going to be below one. If you move it to something like 0.5, we're going to get a smooth gradient from a solid black to a white, with 1 being our default, with 1 here and 0 here. Basically, this value here, if it's below 1, is going to set the maximum value you see on your right side of your gradient, with 0 being your left, and in this case, 0.3, or a gray, on your right. That is your linear gradient node. It's useful if you need to smooth out something, or for example, you could use this as an opacity mask. If you plug this in to, for an opacity mask, keep in mind your blacks are going to be more opaque or transparent, and your whites are going to be more solid. So you could use this maybe as a filter for an effect. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.